Hey guys, so welcome to your singles love reading for Aquarius. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for July 2022. Um, so we're going to take a look at your current over energies regarding love, and then we'll finish off. No, we're um, and then we're going to check to see if um, to see what your current blockages and challenges are in finding love, and then we'll finish off the read to see uh, what else you guys need to know and if there's anyone new coming towards you. Okay, so um, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages, so just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Uh, keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Aquarius people. So I'm not tapping into like one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations, to your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Okay, so uh, tell me about Aquarius, single Aquarius, over energies for single Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for July 2022 for Aquarius here. All right, let's see what we have for you, Aquarius. We have the Five of Cups, okay. No, I feel like surrounding love, I feel like you've been let down by people a lot, yeah. I feel like there's disappointment surrounding you right now, okay. Five of Wands. You know, I feel like the people that you've met or that the people that you've dealt with, they're just a lot of drama or that you're not on the same page with these individuals. You know, there could be a lot of arguing, there could be a lot of fighting, there could be a lot of jealousy here, okay? Um, let's see what else we have. We have the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. So Libra, Aquarius, Gemini with the Queen of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. You know, this could be an indication that, you know, you've been through a lot. You have strong boundaries with people. You know, this could be an indication that you're just going to focus on you, focus on your pentacles here, okay? Uh, you know, this is an energy of not trusting people, Aquarius, okay? Um, let's see what else we have here. The Two of Swords and the Sun. You know, I feel like right now you're in this energy of really trying to protect your happiness or that you're trying to seek it or find it here, okay? So, you know, whatever has happened in the past or whatever you've dealt with here, you know, I feel like there could be an energy of feeling like you're in denial here, all right? Tell me about the Five of Cups. Why is the Five of Cups here? We have the Four of Pentacles. Tell me about the Five of Wands and the Four of Swords. Right now, um... Aquarius, I feel like with the Four of Pentacles, you're keeping to yourself. You know, the Four of Pentacles is an indication that you have nothing to give. You know, and the Four of Swords, you're definitely disengaging and really keeping to yourself right now. You know, not that you're not hanging out with family or friends, but I feel like you're not really interested in meeting people right now. Yeah, it just feel like, it feels like you're in this energy of really just not trusting people, okay? Uh, because I just feel like you've been let down so many times and hurt by people so many times here, okay? Or that people have taken advantage of you and confused the crap out of you, all right? Queen of Pentacles, the Fool, Aries energy, Queen of Swords, and the Ace of Swords here. Yeah, right now, Aquarius, I feel like a lot of you guys are enjoying your freedom here. Okay, you know, I feel like you guys might be seeking enlight seeking enlightenment here. I feel like you guys are going through some sort of breakthrough. This is really interesting. I mean, look at this um, Ace of Swords. There's a snake here. There's a cobra. So, you know, this could be an indication that your your guides are protecting you. Some of you guys might have a serpent or a snake as, as a guide. Okay, um, that's not really uncommon. You know, some people could have animals as uh, their guides. Yeah. So I feel like some of you guys might really resonate or be really connected to snakes or something like that. Okay. But as a form of protection. Yeah. Okay. So it's the two of swords. You have the two of wands, the sun, and the wheel of fortune here. You know, I feel like you're going through all this right now, but I feel like eventually things will go in your favor in a way. Yeah, I feel like, um, you know, the universe is supporting you on your journey right now, supporting your journey on, um, you know, sort of like opening your eyes 
and, you know, sort of like seeing things in uh, more of an optimistic perspective. And, you know, I feel not that you're not an optimistic person, um, Aquarius, but I feel like right now, you know, I feel like you guys have been through so much that, you know, you guys are still dealing with, you know, some emotional baggage uh, pertaining to uh, past situations that you went through here. But there is a bit of a stuck energy, especially with the Two of Swords and the Two of Wands being here. Tell me about uh, Aquarius's uh, blocks and challenges and finding love for July 2022. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Aquarius. the page of wands and the queen of wands we have the seven of pentacles and the queen of cups we have the six of pentacles and the ace of pentacles the problem is i feel like you keep attracting immature individuals here i feel like you keep attracting individuals that are unavailable for you yeah we have the seven of pentacles and the queen of cups um you know i feel like when you meet these individuals I feel like there is some sort of hope that you would change them or something like that, or that they would change over time, but it just doesn't happen. Yeah. Especially if you're like guiding someone or that you're coaching someone, you know, you know, someone, you know, these individuals just, just has to be ready on their own. You just can't really force them. Six of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, I just feel like right now, you know, I feel like you're just focusing on your pentacles, focusing on yourself here. We have all the queens here out, by the way. So, you know, and then we're missing the pre-empress. Um, you know, all these feminine energies is the embodiment of the empress here okay so you know i feel like there is you do have a history you could have a history here of attracting people that are just not available you know that queen of wands uh no that page of wands that is the energy of someone here that's wanting just uh, wanting to just be friends with benefits okay uh the page of wands you got a ton of pentacles tell me about the queen of pentacles and a ton of swords yeah you see i feel like someone here makes promises that they don't keep these individuals keep walking out on you or something like that, especially when things get too serious. Yeah. You know, because that page of sword, page of wands is not a very serious energy when it comes to relationships. Tell me about the seven of pentacles. Why is the seven of pentacles here? Six of wands, queen of cups, and the nine of swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. This is interesting. Um, you know, you, some of you guys could be in this energy of attracting like very arrogant people. Yeah, just very in and out energy, inconsistent energy. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles here. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? I'm going to temperance, Sagittarius energy, the Ace of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles. Ooh. So, where's that Queen of Pentacles? Yeah, we have the kings and queen of pentacles. This could be an indication that there could be new love coming towards you. Yeah. Someone here who's stable, reliable, you know, consistent, you know, someone here who's commitment material here. There seems to be someone new that's coming towards you. This is someone that you might already know. Yeah, this is someone that you're, you might already be talking to, Aquarius. Tell me what else Aquarius need to know. What else does single Aquarius need to know regarding love here for July 2022? Is there anyone new coming towards single Aquarius' way? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for July 2022. You have the Ten of Wands. Wow, that's a very painful Ten of Wands in the world. Wow, look at that. Look how painful that is. This this person's being dragged here. I mean, that's six of cups. Wow. There is someone here from your past that you're still having very bad memories about. You're still going through it. I feel like you're still healing here, um, uh, Aquarius. We have this, uh, we have the devil card here, Capricorn energy. 
We have the King of Cups and the Star. We have the King to the Queen of Cups, King to the Queen of Pentacles. The Divine is sending you someone here. Yeah, but I feel like a lot of you guys might not be ready for it though. Yeah. I feel like you're I feel like the universe is sending you your soulmate. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. Why is the Ten of Wands here? We have the King of Wands. King to the Queen of Wands. And the Nine of Pentacles. You know, once you go, go through all the work, you know, in healing, I, I feel like that's when this person's going to come in. Tell me about the Six of Cups. We got the King to the Queen of Wands, King to the Queen of Pentacles, King to the Queen of Cups. We have the Chariot, Cancer, Energy, and the Six of Cups. We have the Devil and the Eight of Cups. Yeah, you're still trying to put your past to bed here. I mean, you're moving away from it. It just seems like there is still, you know, lingering, um, lingering emotions from the past. Cancer energy with the chariot. Tell me about the King of Cups. We have the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, the Star, and the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and the Ace of Cups. There will be new love that's coming towards you. Okay, this person's gonna take action towards you. This new person, this king. Yeah, like I said, we have pairs here. King of Cups, Queen of Cups, King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, King of Wands, and a Queen of Wands. It seems like there's new love in the picture, but, you know, it's like, you know, you have all of this going on, Aquarius. It's like, are you ready for it? It seems like you guys are, out, uh, you know, kind of like, you know, outward, uh, outright working on yourself, you know? But, you know, I feel like there is a lot of protection around you, especially with the snake, the serpent here. Like, I feel like a lot of you guys have a connection with the snake here, you know? And I feel like a lot of you guys might have that snake as a guide, as protection, trying to ward off negative energies, okay? Um, but yeah, I, I do feel like there, there, there's gonna, you know, I feel like, you know, div the divine is sending you someone here sending your soulmate you know i feel like this person might be completely different from the other people that you've dealt with here okay so um uh, aquarius i hope that this was helpful i hope that this resonated if it did leave a comment down in the comment section below share this video like this video if you haven't done so yet subscribe hit the notification bell i'll speak to you guys in the next one all right thanks guys bye